How's it going everybody, Adam here, and welcome to my first proper Unity tutorial. Today we're going to be going over ground alignment, which basically is involving aligning your character to the surface of the ground that they're standing on. Now today I'm just doing this in a simple scene with a cube and two little planes that I have set to a layer ground. So I've just gone in, added a layer, used this ground, because uh, we're going to be using raycasts to do this. And this should work for pretty much every form of character movement that there is. Some might be harder to implement than others, it just sort of depends on the way that you've either set up your character movement or if you're using uh, someone else's or even one of the Unity's like example setups. But anyway, I have this working with using a rigid body, but today we're just going to be using a character controller just to get for the just to get the basic movement in. So let's just jump over to the code and I can show you what I have going on. So not that it's necessary, but I've just added the requiring the component of the character controller because that's what we're using for this script. And we just have two floats, movement speed gravity, which we won't be changing. And to start off with in the update method, we have getting our inputs, the horizontal and vertical, applying a little bit of gra gravity to the Y, and just using the controller.move for movement. So, to start off with, we need to create a void method called get alignment. So I'm going to say, nope, still, nope. Alignment, there we go. And I'm not going to make the mistake again, but we need to add it into here for it to actually be called Java go away. So get alignment. That way when we go to test it, it'll actually work. And so the two things that we need, we'll need a raycast. Nope, not a ray. Raycast hit, which we're just going to call hit. And then we just need to use a physics dot raycast. Two G's. I hit. I don't know what I hit, but I did a thing. That I didn't mean to do. So we're going to raycast into the ground. We're going to be using our transform position as its starting point. We're going to use the transform dot up, but make that negative to do cast the break downwards. Then we need to use the out hit to that's where all of the method, that's where all the raycast stuff will get stored. Not the method. We want to do a raycast distance of 0.7. I just found that that's the, for me using a cube, that is the best distance. You could set this up so you would do the raycast, from, not from the, the center of the object like I'm doing, but from the very bottom. So you don't, you don't have to make this a 0.1. But again, just for tutorial sake, we're just doing that. And we need to add a public layer mask up here, which we're just going to call mask. So that way we can only raycast into the objects that we want to, like so. Now after this, we need to set a new vector three, three, which would be our new up. And we're just gonna equal this to the hit dot normal. And then apply that to our transforms up direction, which would just be equals new up. So there we go. So just to reiterate, we're ray raycasting into our mask, which will be ground, which we will go set up. Setting that out, that out hitting point to our new up and setting that to our transforms up. So if we go over and in our script, just set this to ground. And you shall see that when we go over this, into this black area, you keep your eyes up the top here, that we snap to it. We just go forward and backwards. We just keep snapping to it. And you'll see that we do have the same rotation as the ground below us, which is 9.34. The cube is 9.4, oh, I said 43, sorry. And jumping up here, it'll be zero. Now this does work with more than one raycast if you want more preci precision or if you're using a vehicle. So the 
the best way to do that is I'm just going to grab a whole bunch of code. So don't don't panic, I will go over this. I'm just gonna replace all this stuff. So what I've done, let me just swap this over to a ball to get rid of the squiggly lines. So I've added three more hits to so if we wanted to simulate a car or just a you know little normal vehicle, general vehicle. Normally have four wheels, four points of reference, I suppose. And so we need the we need the rake we need the rake house sits for that, as well as for rake house, more physics dot rake house. And we also need to offset the positions. So I'm just doing that manually here. You could do the, you could set this up up here or do it in some form of for loop or loop that would work as well. Anyway, going down so they each have their own hit out hits at the end. But before we just had the normal hit being our new up, so you could have skipped this step. You could still technically skip the step, but it's, you know makes it a little bit easier to read if you want to do it this way, or if you do it this way. So we need to add all our normals together. We need to normalize them, and then we can add them to our transform dot up. Now I've got this set to a ball. I'll get that get back to that in a moment. But we'll just see this in action first. Did I save it? No, I had not. Always safe. <laughs> Very helpful. Now we may or may not see the changes. Oh yes, we can. So you can see it, it rotates twice now. Do 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 do. And again, if we just focus on here, if you look at the rotation, so now we're about halfway between those two. So there we go. Looks a little jumpy because I'm the way that I'm just handling all this. It's not. Not the smoothest, but it, it gets the job done. Anyway, so next thing we would probably want to do, actually if I go back, you'll notice that if I were to just pull the cube up, we're also going to be falling at a constant rate. That's because I have not really done the gravity correctly, but it works for this tutorial. If I were to pull this cube up, we don't fall to the aligned plane that we're on. If that's something that you want, that's perfectly fine. But if you wanted to fall on this plane, just have to go back and add a little bit of code up here. So we need to change this from input input.y to transform dot up times out by our gravity. So that way we're now using our new or old up or new in the case of when it goes through here, it'll change. But times our gravity by that, so we should now fall on the slope that we're currently above, or last on. So we're falling straight down. We jump over here, we we'll align, pull our cube up, and we are now falling down on that axis. Now you'll see that when we're on the ground here, we're not just staying still, but we're still moving upwards, which is a little bit of a problem. So to fix that, that's why I have this as a ball. So we throw this inside of an if statement. But we want the opposite of this. So if we put an exclamation mark in front of that, if it not, and just wrap the gravity changing portion of the code inside of there. So whenever we don't, when we are hitting the ground, so this part here, the first check, we're not going to be doing the gravity part, so we'll just sit still. Now, you could do this, you could do a check for this for each individual raycast to make sure that all four of them are hitting, or if you just, if you only require one to hit, you could do it that way. I mean, that's just depending on what your game is. So if we just move back, you should see that we have stopped moving. So, which is. Fantastic, because that's what we wanted. Fall up, fall up, pull it up and drop, land on the ground nice and safely. And we can just go on and be sitting to the ground. Now, I haven't done this with rotation stuff, because I had to, because we have a little bit of problems with that. Um, I think the way I've got it set up at the moment, we're kind of just snapping to this direction, which is fine because I haven't got any rotational stuff in here, which would normally be here, but that's fine. 
Uh, generally this way this works for the most part. I didn't mean to do that. And if I show, I can show you that actually. So we hit play, jump back into the scene. We just rotate this a nice wide angle. Just move our cube around and we should rotate to the facing of the ground still. But with that guys, that is pretty much for all for the tutorial today. Hopefully that helps with aligning alignment of anyone that was actually the person that asked for this. Um, the only issue it can have is occasionally, I think it depends on how it's set up, but when aligning to a surface with your own rotation stuff going in, sometimes it can be a bit finicky. I think this is, I think this one is generally all right, the way that I have this set up. Uh, but if not, let me know in the comments and I can try to help you out. Anyway, with that, just once again, hopefully this was helpful and I hope to see you guys around elsewhere on the channel or at other tutorials that I would like to do. Let me know if there's anything else that you want to see a tutorial on and hopefully I can help out with that. Anyway, that is all for today and I will hopefully see you elsewhere. But until then, bye!